Okay, now in this whole update, this is probably the, it's definitely one of the top three cars I'm most excited about. Uh, the first one is, of course, the Pachibo. Second is probably the stage head, but then we're also getting, might surprise you, but I am a big fan of Volkswagen Thing. It's literally called The Thing by Volkswagen. But we have a Stagia. We have one of my all-time dream cars, and I was never expecting this to actually get into the game. But here it is. Also, I feel like this car pack might actually be teasing the next location. I mean, yeah, the next location for the Horizon Festival. Japan. Japan confirmed. I mean, we've missed out on Japan in Horizon 4 and 5, so it has to come in Horizon 6, right? This car pack is definitely teasing the um, next Horizon installment. You might actually see maybe a reveal trailer in November or something? That's just a lucky guess, but if we do... Hmm. Anyways, what car is this? Oh, that's the uh, Twerk Stallion. Anyways... Let's customize this thing. Please tell me it is daytime. It is not daytime. We are going to have uh, hell. So I feel like I'm actually just gonna yeah. Okay, the stage here doesn't deserve to be in the dark. We're gonna put this thing into the light, and by that I mean we are going to fast travel to the nearest festival because they actually have light. So yeah, let's get right into the customization with this. And why body kit? God damn it! Okay, I like the Stagia a lot. Stagia, one of my all-time favorite cars. But, I like this Stagia. Not the one with the R34 front end. Because honestly, the R34 front end on this looks goofy. The Stagia with its own front, uh, its own front bumper, its own front fascia and everything. That, that looks the best. This does not. This looks goofy. This looks ugly. I do not like it. Also, oh, we actually have different engines this time. So we have an RB25 stock, 2.5 liter uh, inline six turbo. We're going to keep that in, anyways. A 6.2 liter V8, LS V8. RB26, of course. I don't know what that's from. 414 horsepower. I don't know. Maybe a TDR is what that beats from. Of course, 2J. Yeah, we're not going to do that. It's already all-wheel drive. However, we, we actually will keep the single turbo. All right, customization is not there. There is zero customization. That is depressing, but we are going to go with a realistic build on this. So we're going to go with some fitment. I'll choose the wheels later. So we are going to... Uh, We'll put it on drift springs because I want that extra steering angle. I would totally have one of these in real life. I would love to have one of these in real life. This version, I do not like the R34 front end if it is not already apparent. Now, real life build, I would actually add more weight to this. I would not uh, decrease weight because I'd probably turn this thing into an RV. Take the back seats out. You have a bunch of room back there because it's a wagon. Also, it is very long back there. Very long. You feel like a bed. Maybe a whole gaming setup. This thing, also, you have to raise the roof. You have to raise the roof on this thing if you want to live in it. That's why people live in SUVs because they have very tall roofs. Did I do the drivetrain? I skipped the drivetrain, but we will max that out. It already has a four-speed stock, so we'll go with a sport transmission. So if you have a four-speed transmission car and you go to a sport transmission, that'll give it a um, five-speed transmission, and a race transmission gives it a six-speed. Let's just confirm that. We can do race transmission, and then race transmission, seven-speed. So that means the race transmission is a six-speed. But we will go with the race differential and then the engine. I really hope that we get a different sound to this. Much different. Very good. Hell yeah, dude. Also, I would probably put a uh, trailer hitch on this, so we're going to need some extra torque. So, extra oomph. 602 horsepower. This thing would definitely be a very, very powerful sleeper. 915 horsepower, actually. Um, I lied. That is 915 horsepower. We could probably get, a, like, a thousand, actually. Let's twin turbo it. That's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to throw on the twin turbo. And we're going to go back here. 
both twin turbos are up to 954 stock. Oh, wait, they both make the same amount of power. They, they both make the same amount of power, okay. So that's basically what turbo sound you want. We will go back to the single turbo, and we will indeed, um, 954 horsepower again. I really, I think they sound the exact same, but I like the single turbo better. And now for the wheels. We will go, of course, with... Why did I even wait for the wheels? We're just going to throw T37s on it. We are going to paint them white. and we Actually, we'll up the size just a little bit like that. Now, if this was really going to be my dream stage, yeah. We have a full RV set up in the back. Uh, pop the roof. Obviously, I would have like a toilet and stuff back there, but still. Maybe keep or ditch the passenger seat. Also... Yet again, a very tacky 90s interior. You love to see it. And there we go. Just notice the seats. Like, they, like they, it has blue seats. Blue seats. I probably go with, like, some Recaro, like, some of that retro confetti. It still has, it still has four gears. It, it still has four gears. Take that in. It still has four gears. Um, I, I did, I did the sport transmission, right? I, I, I did the sport transmission. no, no. no. Okay, we're, we're going to finish this thing, and then we are going to go back and see if we did indeed do a uh, sport transmission. I am saying sport transmission so much. Do we do a sport transmission? We did do a sport transmission. A race transmission would put us up to a six-speed, so we are not going to do that. Fair enough. Now, the only thing I really, really want here, we don't have secondary paint groups, so we cannot paint the um, plastic around it. We got a nice silver that it comes with. Dark silver. Weird tacky green. Very nice red and then white. But if I had one of these, you know exactly what color I'd put it in. Midnight freaking purple. It is literally the only valid color for the for like any actually not. I am just I am saying some very controversial things today. But we don't want it to be that red, so we will do 90 high. This is how you make colors in the game, by the way. We will go back to 0.3. Yeah, 0.3 low. Very nice metallic midnight purple. Very nice. It's not perfect midnight purple, but it's good enough. It's good enough. And we could... I should go, go carbon mirrors. There's a lot of customization with this. A lot to do with this. So, in all of the so a few things I would change about the stage. Yeah, obviously, RV setup. You gotta ditch the tacky seats. You gotta ditch that super tacky interior. Like, what are these seats? What are what are the door? Like, what is that in the door? Also, did they? I feel like they goofed up the uh, texture on the uh, window switch too. There is actually some still some pretty cool stuff in here. But yeah, I feel like they did maybe goof that up, but if not, my Nissan does some weird things sometimes. But yeah, those seats, like the seats, the uh, little door carpet, that, it, it, no, that's gotta go. We'll probably, I'll probably like change that for wood or something. Now in the back, back seats are getting dumped. Everything in the back is just getting dumped. So it's going to be a nice, wide-open area. I feel like there's actually a strut bar there. And then the suspension is probably tucked in that. Yeah, it's right above the wheels, so it's probably the suspension and stuff. So we will not take those out. But because we can't exactly, um, you know, take out, like, the whole flooring and stuff, because I'll reveal a lot of stuff underneath, we'll leave it as is, but we will, like, cut the top, raise it up a little bit, we will... I don't know if we'll do it to the tailgate. Probably not. We'll have it kind of like a, a raised roof van. Like, what are those? Obviously, then roof rack on the top. The front end is fine, but I would just like to change the trim. Um, make Actually, like, paint that body colored. Even the chrome trim as well, so... And I think... This is the, um... This isn't the highest model. This is the, um... For, this is the RS4V. I think that the highest is an Autech um, Stage 260 RS. But still, this thing, I'm just so excited that we actually have 
Astagia in the game. Also, it is very fast. Like, really, really, really fast. It is S1853 doesn't turn, even though we have the uh, angle kit on it. But we'll throw some shapes. This is going to make an amazing drift wagon. I'm going to buy, like, 20 of these. But still, I am so happy this thing is in the game. It is genuinely one of my dream cars. And... I don't know if the actually wait. It's a 1997. You you can legally import them. A car has, in order to import cars to the U.S., they have to be um 25 years or older. This thing is 27 years old. This year would be 27 years old. No way. So you can import these. So it's probably a uh, like hella expensive. Let's look at how much this car goes for. 40k. Not. As bad as I was thinking, but with import tax and all that, it's probably going to be upwards of 75, 80k. But buying one itself would probably be just 40k. Or for a lower end, maybe like 20 to 30. So, so I don't have that kind of money. But if I did have that kind of money, I would buy a lot of stages. Like, a lot, a lot of stages.